Hey guys, I'm back with Dynasty Warriors 8 and I am going to go this guy. So his weapon is kind of the Shadow Blades, I, they call them Swallow Swords for some reason here. Might actually be a mistranslation, I don't know. In battle, one must do their very best to succeed. Or maybe it does have a meaning that I don't actually know about. Okay, so this is, is this number 10 I believe? So I think it actually does go up to like 13 for Wu. On this path? It might be 14 even. Nah, it's probably 13. I'm not quite sure yet. But, uh, yeah. And of course, still taking on Liu Bei. Hey, if I can take him on, I'd, I'd be happy with that. It was, it was, at least I'm not following him out on his side, really. First, we must defeat the enemies that lie before us. Okay, I'm going to go over this way first. Now, I don't believe there's any side missions here. I might quickly actually check that, but yeah, as you can see, he does get a shadow when he is attacking with this weapon here, which is pretty nice. Okay, so... yeah. I'm not entirely sure of the moveset, though. It kind of seems to zoom in. That year, X attack is actually pretty good. It's, it kind of seems to zoom in when you're attacking with his weapon for some reason. Is it just me? Yeah, it does a little bit, but whatever, it's not a big deal. Alright, so uh, I, I'm actually going to pause it right here and actually look up what uh, if there is an optional objective here because I forgot to check beforehand. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and now I know what to do, basically. So, I've got to actually protect Gan Ning. So, historically, he would have died in this battle, but this will actually open a side a side mission, so I am going to do this just the first time. So, yeah. But, uh, I've got to... It would actually be easier if I went Ling Tong, but I should still be able to do it as this guy here. So, first thing I've got to take care of is getting these bases. Or holding them more like. So I just need to take out this one other guy over here. And then we're pretty much gonna follow Gan Ning for a while. Perfect time. I was looking for an opportunity to test. Uh so I gave him just the uh, defense is it offensive sword? I can't even remember what it is actually called. The other sword. <laughs> There's so many swords. Man, this guy's musos are pretty awesome, honestly. Okay, so we should actually get attacked by a couple of people. Uh, or, ch yeah, get attacked by some people from Shu. Now, where is actually Gan Ning right now? Okay, he is over there. Okay, so a couple guys are going to charge at us. Okay, so I'm gonna follow him pretty much. Okay, so I think he's gonna come this way. Um, let's just check. He's actually, yeah, he's just a bit slow. Alright, so I pretty much just gotta follow him, and yeah, I'm meant to go up there, but I should be able to just uh, do my own thing for now, I think. So. And then we get to take out all these guys, so, you know. So I gotta go all the way up there, <laughs> eventually, but right now I'm gonna stick with uh, staying over here. It's alright if I'm ahead of Gan Ning for a while, just as long as I make sure I fall him over this bridge coming up, I think. So, yeah, I've got to make sure that I actually follow him across for that, at least. Where is he going? Sorry, I just have to keep checking this right here. 
Okay, apparently he's going the this other way, which is kind of strange. All right. Well, we'll follow him then. I guess he's going to go up from here and across. But yeah, pretty much just follow him, and then you should be able to help him. Alright, so we're just going to take out this guy here, and then follow him again. Okay. Another step forward in my training is the future of Wu. So once again, we're just gonna go and help this guy who gets himself into trouble all the time and is the best, the best at um, stealth, clearly, as we learned. Okay. So, yeah, it should just be across this bridge here, I think. But yeah, it actually gave me a message there, which might be important. Alright, so we're just going to follow him in here. Yep. And there we go. So it will trap him inside. And you've, I think you just got to kill this guy, really. I, I don't think you need to do it in any time limit. You just... Uh, Gan Ning will be trapped, and... If you're not here, then it's... I'm pretty sure you cannot save him. Alright, we're actually going to go this way, because it looks like I can actually make my way around the long way. Or can I? It doesn't look like I'll actually be able to take that path. Alright, so... Like I said, I can still go this way, but it's going to take me longer to run back as any other character, so, yeah. So, yeah, so that, that basically saved him and ensured that we're going to get the side mission here. Which is good, <laughs> obviously. There's a lot of generals that I'm not going to bother with because it did take quite a long time for me to actually get over there and follow him, so... Yeah. And man, I've been playing this game for ages, just a little bit at a time, and I'm like still nowhere near done, really. I mean, I'm almost done with Wu, but Jin is kind of the same length of story, honestly. It might be even... it might actually be longer than Wu's. And then I've got like eight maps to do, which admittedly eight maps is not that much. Uh, as the other characters, it's just like, Jesus. These games are meant to last a long time, and they do. <laughs> Like, even the older ones just basically you could get hundreds of hours out of them, really. Especially if you just wanted to make a character, or all of the characters, really awesome. It would, it would literally just take a long, long time. Because most of the stat-ups you could find, in the older games at least, uh, usually you didn't level up. Well, you did kind of level up, you got ranks and stuff like that, but... You mostly got stat upgrades from killing enemies or breaking up in, uh, you know, destructible objects. So I guess I'm gonna go up this way then. Okay, he's going that way. Can I not go this way? Nope. Alright. Alright, we're just gonna wait here for my die then. So yeah, it did take a, <laughs> quite a long time in order to get a bunch of stats. There was some stuff for like, you could, uh, I believe you could gain stats quite quickly if you quit and reloaded every time you ran to one and then got the stat up. But yeah, <laughs> it took a long time usually. That said, in uh, Dynasty Warrior 7 it was kind of like that as well, with the uh, damage boosts and stuff being, you know, dropped by generals, enemy generals and stuff. So am I going this way or what? Oh, he's going up that way, okay. Alright, we're gonna go around there, that way then. 
so yeah, it, it, it took a long time in Dynasty War 7 as well. I didn't really bother because honestly, the stats cap at like a thousand. And it's just like not worth it at all. Unless you're trying to do chaos, but you know, I never really was into It's not really a difficult game, you know? I want like just to make it difficult by making enemies do absurd damage really. I don't really see the point. But whatever. Kinda of more a relaxing game, especially since I'm playing Dark Souls. <laughs> Uh, alongside it, really. Which I do appreciate. And you know, this one, quite a lot of defending going on, really. And why, oh why, has my, <laughs> my leader ran out in front of ev everything? Because that is how this game works. You'll fail a mission by your en your leader getting killed because he ran forward like an idiot. But uh, luckily, it seems these guys kind of ran past him, which is I appreciate that. I'll take it. And how do you even block with that? That makes no sense. Whatever. Okay, so now I think we can take it a little bit now, surely. And yeah, I kind of remember this map. This one is actually quite similar to the Dynasty Warriors 7 version of this. It's not actually that much different. And there should up the top left there. There should be a maze. And yeah, there we go. While we're in it, that's a good idea. Alright, I might have to go around the other way. Nope, they're gonna open the door for me. Sweet. I guess I'm not going this way then. I guess it's up where I was before. Let's, let's wait a sec. Okay, is it over there? Alright, so they're gonna open the gate there for me. Okay. Go and put an end to this battle. Yeah, this isn't going to be the end. No way. You are responsible for the deaths of both Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. I will not rest until every last member of Wu is dead. Infuriates, yeah. It doesn't matter though, because stun lock. Man, he has a lot of HP. So stunlock. Wow, really? Wow, okay. I just stunlock him in the, this attack over and over again. Honestly, I think that attack is a bit much. It just makes it too too ridiculously easy when you have uh, an advantage. I don't know. I kind of done that in a weird place there. The camera does freak out. That's like the only thing that's... <laughs> that is consistent, really. The camera will always, in all the games, constantly freak out. But, you know. I'm used to it at this point, really. Not really, but, <laughs> you know. So are we going up this way, then, I guess? Yeah? Looks like it. Of course, Jiggy Liang will never admit defeat and they just open the door there for us. So yeah, this one is pretty much over by now, but you do have to go through a maze sort of area. You call it Stone Sent Sentinel Maze, I believe, yeah. So you don't you don't get a mini map here, and it's dark, apparently. But well, we're gonna run past these guys. I mean, it's probably not that hard to navigate. Oh Jesus! This is quite large. Defeat the nearby enemies and continue the way. All right. Okay, the one in Dynasty War Seven was not like this at all. It was actually outside. This is in the cave, which is kind of strange. But all right. 
I actually dig the uh, map design in this game a lot more than 7 though. Not that 7's was bad, really. Alright, so I guess that's it for there. And then. Oh. Alright. Okay. Okay. So I just gotta guide the torch guys around basically here. I might have to kill some of these guys then. Okay. You still get a little mini map here, so you know, you can still see around really. I'm probably gonna go the wrong way though. Almost certainly. Okay, here's the second one, so I guess I went the right way. It's probably not that cool, anyway. I wonder what that green arrow is. Alright, uh, let's get some more Musos going. Okay, just archers here. God damn it, archers. Alright, just gotta wait for these guys then, I suppose. And take out these fucking archers. Alright. Okay, I guess that's further on. This should light up the surrounding area considerably. Okay, let's get going. So I'm guessing we just need to continue along this path here. I'm just gonna take a uh, I dunno. I guess I'm going this way. Okay, it looks like I gotta go back then. Yeah, I guessed. <laughs> I, I, I guessed that we would need to actually go to that sub path there. But that's fine. Man, this one takes a lot longer than it did in 7. Like, seriously. Uh, I guess I need to go up this way? We could be going the completely wrong way, but, you know. Okay, there is an officer here, so yeah. Okay. Basically, where all the officers are. Ganning, what are you doing? Seriously? I saved you earlier. I don't. I don't think I need to do anything else, really. Okay, I gotta run back. Can I get a horse in here? Yes, I can. Okay, so that is the third one. Hopefully the last one. And it was down here, I think. So many guys right here. Okay, I think it was here, so... Continue on from here. We got an officer up there. Another one, okay. Jesus, this is lasting a long time, really. Okay, well, at least we're taking them out fairly quickly, anyway. Right, I'm just gonna leave there, because that guy's gonna do it automatically, anyway. I'm sure you have. Okay. Oh, I gotta deal with this guy as well. Jeez, there's a lot here. Look for the fifth one. Yeah, I found the fifth one. Luckily, I'm gonna kill him pretty quickly, but, yeah. Alright, is there anyone else here? Okay, that's it. I believe that's the guy with the arbalest there. So I think I go up this way to take him out. Yep. At least I think it was this guy, I'm not actually sure. Yeah, it looks like it. So let's, <laughs> let's take him out quickly. Again. God damn this, god damn thing. Always, always. 
Right, so can we take him out now? Yes, okay. It's just the Ballista, it's not an arm test. Okay. And how do we get out of here? Out of interest, you know, I'm just saying. Back this way? I think it's just take a right here. Or not? I guess it's below here. Yeah. Alright. I think that's us out. Thank you, Torch Troop. Real hero. Alright. All that's left is to slay Liu Bei. Okay, is uh is Gan Ning fine right now? Yeah, he's fucking fine as he's just chilling back there, it's fine. They get hurt by a peasant or something. Like Jesus. Alright, so I'm just gonna use the rage attack on Liu Bei because it's probably even <laughs> got even more HP than he did before, so yeah. And the next one's a side mission, so that one probably shouldn't take that long, but uh yeah. Another step forward in my training is the And boom! me down to avenge Guan Yu and the murder of Zhang Fei I have kept on fighting if I may now be with my brothers again I wish for nothing else <laughs> Xiang Xiang I won't let you kill him not even by your hand, brother. <laughs> you would level your weapon at your own flesh and blood? The land I seek to create does not lie beyond such sad carnage. <laughs> Liu Bei, what is this benevolence of which you speak? What land do you seek to create? I wish to bring peace and happiness to the people. Ah. I see now, of course, that I had turned my back on those ideals. And yet you still hold them dear. Then Shu must surrender to Wu. In the land I seek to create, there will be a place for your benevolence. <laughs> this battle is a victory for Wu. Only way remains. We shall pit our metal against their path of conquest. All right. So I don't actually think uh, Liu Bei ever gave up attacking Wu. Really, I don't think so. At least, I mean, he was pretty pissed. So, yeah. But then again, I don't know how it is compared to, historically, the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I don't think he ever gave up, but yeah. Liu Shan did take over, and yeah. Wu's got pretty much a big chunk now. I imagine this is probably the most that Wu ever had, in terms of land. I mean... Like Jesus, they just start with the southeast portion only, really. So, hopefully, this is going to take us to a side mission here, which I will get to play as a new character for, though I think he is in some of the later ones as well. 
and it looks like it is so yeah there's also Jiotai Gan Neng because he actually you know survived the last battle otherwise he would die uh, I don't think it's really that spoiler <laughs> but uh, yeah he did actually die historically in that battle against that guy Shimoke or something it was something like that I don't know but uh, this guy Ding Feng he's like seven foot tall I'm not even kidding he's ridiculous and this looks like a pretty small map though I don't know anyway so that was like 25 minutes so I'm gonna say see you guys and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Dynasty Warriors 8.